Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. Now in this question we want to find the greatest common divisor of 2x and 2y. We're going to solve this question using two different approaches. Our first approach will be to plug in numbers for x and y and see what happens. Now if the greatest common divisor of x and y is 12, what are some possible values for x and y? Well, some possible values include 24 and 36, 12 and 24, 12 and 12, and so on. Now it doesn't really matter what pair of numbers we choose, but our calculations will be easier if we choose the smallest values, which are 12 and 12. So let's say that x equals 12 and y equals 12. Now if x and y both equal 12, then 2x and 2y must both equal 24. Now that we have values for 2x and 2y, we can find their greatest common divisor, which is 24. Now some students may be concerned that the answer of 24 was due to the fact that we chose 12 and 12 for our values of x and y. And perhaps if we had chosen different values for x and y, we might have found a different greatest common divisor of 2x and 2y. The important point to remember here is that there can be only one correct answer to this question. So it would be impossible to get a greatest common divisor of 24 in one instance and then get a different greatest common divisor in another instance. As such, our answer of 24 must be the answer, which means the correct answer is D. Now our second approach will be to use some deduction. We know that if the greatest common divisor of x and y is 12, then the prime factorizations of x and y must have some common factors that multiply together to be 12. We know this because this is precisely how we find greatest common divisors using prime factorization. We also know that any other prime factors that x may have must be different from any other prime factors that y may have. Otherwise, there would be more factors in common, in which case the greatest common divisor would not equal 12. So we can already conclude that the prime factorizations of x and y share some prime factors. So if we multiply x and y by 2, then the prime factorizations of 2x and 2y will both include an additional 2. This means we have an additional pair of prime factors in common, which means the greatest common divisor of 2x and 2y will equal this new product, which equals 24. So using some deduction and our knowledge of prime factorization, we can see that the answer here is still D.